Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is Jenkins and how can I integrate a Maven project in Jenkins and how can we uh, use Jenkins in our day to day life. So if you are not aware about Jenkins, so Jenkins is a uh, open source automation server uh, which we can use for uh, running your build. So basically when you want to run or compile or deploy uh, something, you can use Jenkins. So if you see most of the companies are using Jenkins for uh, automating their workflows. So if you see the latest DevOps model, so most of them are using the Jenkins and the, the pipeline builds in Jenkins uh, to automate their build, deploy procedures into UAT production and stuff like that. So in this particular example, what we are going to see is uh, we are going to see how we can create a job inside Jenkins, basically how we can set up a, a continuation integration for your project. Okay, so we are going to see uh, various steps involved in creating a, a job in Jenkins and also I'm going to show you how uh, Jenkins can run your build. So basically what I have done is I have created a GitHub project already. Okay, we, this is basically the FizzBuzz project which I took and then I have put inside Jenkins example so that we can play around with this particular project. So I can modify this here and then I can uh, trigger build on this particular project. So if you notice here this is the Jenkins uh, server so what I have done is I have uh, gone to the Jenkins website I have downloaded the uh, uh, Jenkins uh, package okay and I have installed it in my machine so in, in my laptop I have installed so you can also try that at home so basically I downloaded the Mac OS X version so if you have Windows you can try the Windows version if you have uh, Ubuntu or Red Hat uh, you can try that version as well okay so basically it's like any other um, uh, server like uh, Tomcat or something like that Okay, once the server is started, so basically you will just go to the command prompt and start or uh, you can start it um, using the uh, launchers. Okay, so uh, for example, if you notice, this is th this is how it looks like. So I have started my Jenkins server. So right now it is running in the 8080 port. So what I have to do is basically uh, when I start off uh, with Jenkins, I can create, start creating new jobs. Basically, these are nothing but new items. So uh, I can click on the new item and Jenkins shows me what are all the different stuff I can do. So if you notice here, there is something called freestyle project. Okay, so this is where uh, it combines different SEMs and you can run it um, based on your type of project. Let's say you have a, a, a what do you call, a make project uh, on C or C++ or Python or something, you can use freestyle. So in this particular example, we are going to see the Maven project. So I'm going to show Maven. Uh, there is something called pipeline. Okay, you can create pipelines uh, or workflows basically inside Jenkins. Uh, that we will see in the next video because it is slightly complex version of a uh, job okay so in this video we will see what is maven project and then there is something called external job multi contrib uh, configuration project folder github organization so github, github organization is like uh, you give your login and it will scan all the projects inside that particular uh, organization or the login and then it creates a build or a pipeline for each of these projects Okay, that we, that also we'll see as a part of pipeline because it is slightly different. Uh, Multi-branch pipeline is like it it can uh, it is similar to pipeline, but it checks all your branches. So basically, when you create a pipeline, uh, you can uh, configure it to listen to a particular branch. But uh, multi-branch pipeline is something similar to how it uh, scans through all your uh, branches in that repository, so it can build. Uh, any branch. So let's say your team is working on different branches, right? Your team members are working on different branches. When you configure a multi-branch pipeline, it can trigger a build for each branch. So based on the hook uh, from the bit packet or wherever your uh, code is hosted, so the multi-branch pipeline will be triggered and the build can run on branches as well. You can, you can control that using something called Jenkins file. So that we will see uh, in the next video. But uh, let's get started by creating a simple uh, build right with this particular project. So I'll, I'll take the URL of this project. Okay. I'll create the Jenkins uh, um, job name as Jenkins example and I'm going to just select Maven project and I'm going to say OK. OK, if you see here, there are different options in the general. I have the project uh, name, which we have already given. Uh, it says discard old builds. Let's not discard old, old builds. I'm going to say this is a GitHub project and I'm going to just paste this. Uh, this project is parameterized, no throttle builds, no disable this project, no execute commands, uh, builds if necessary, no. So I'm going to say source code is git, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to give the git repository URL, dot git, okay. And I, I have already configured my credentials here. So I'm just going to select it here, 
okay and also you can specify a branch so right now if you notice this is running on the master branch okay i have only one branch called master uh, for this particular project so i'm going to run on only on master also the trigger point for this build so how does this particular build gets triggered right so these are the different trigger points you can add a git hook or you can add a poll SEM you can just schedule uh, how many times it needs to be polled so for now I will not do anything or you can do a periodic build periodic uh, scheduler so you can uh, configure this particular job to run at a particular time every day okay or you can add a dependency on another project okay that also you can do for now I will not do anything because I am going to just trigger it manually uh, but you can configure that and it works out of the box there is nothing big there okay during the build alarm i'll say delete my workspace so workspace is where all your code gets checked out and stuff like that so i'm going to say that delete my workspace every time uh, when the build starts okay just for uh, making it good so these are the maven goals so i'm going to say clean and deploy okay i'm going to say clean and deploy as a part of deploy it is going to run my tests and also it is going to create a package as well because deploy is a uh, deploy includes those and also you can have post validation steps or something so based on this particular uh, criteria you can add some uh, different scripts or see for example set build status to pending in github commit so you can even uh, automatically commit uh, the status of the build if it fails or something okay that also you can do right so in this particular example what i'm going to do i'm going to show you clean deploy so uh, what i have done is i have created a free maven repo so i if you notice here uh, i have some uh, uh, files which are pushed here if you notice here the j unit 5 example uh, that is my project name i have already pushed that under com text primers testing j unit 5 if you notice here that is what we have done so what we can do is i have the project open in intellij here I'll, let's change this particular artifact uh, id to something else so that we can test it so i'm going to say jenkins example okay and the version i'm going to say is 1.0 snapshot so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to commit this particular file to get and push it to github i'm going to say artifact id update artifact id i'm going to say commit and push so this is going to push my changes onto the github repository as well so if you notice here it's asking me to push i'm going to say push it uh, okay and this is going to push my changes onto the github repository and we are going to say uh, see that as well so the push is successful and if I refresh this particular file now my POM should have got updated yeah if you notice here 19 seconds ago so we have updated the artifact ID so if you notice here in the maven index uh, this particular uh, in this particular uh, folder com tech primers testing here uh, my artifact should get created right now it has only j, uh, j unit 5 examples here uh, it should get created so the only difference between that j unit 5 example project and this is these two parts okay so I have added a repositories uh, and I'm just uh, passing my uh, URL from uh, where I can pull it and push it. So basically this particular project is going to be pushed into this particular Maven repository. Okay. Uh, that is why if you see here in the URL, this is how it is. So it is going to push my repository there. So I have added this configuration here. Okay. As a part of Maven build, as a part of the deploy, it will be pushed to this particular repository because these are my repositories where I have permission. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. If you are working in a company, you will uh, see the company central Maven repository, which I mentioned here, right? So now uh, let's finish this uh, job. So I'm going to save this job. And if you notice here, this is going to check out my code from GitHub and automatically build it. Okay, so we are going to trigger the build now option. In general, what, how, how uh, this continuous integration stuff works is whenever you commit something, it automatically gets triggered. The build automatically gets triggered so if you notice here these are different options which we have you can go to the workspace and see how the code is getting checked out what is the code which is present there you can wipe out the workspace uh, you can build it you can configure uh, you can change whatever we configured here anytime okay so i'm going to go to the build and i'm going to go to the if i go to the build if i click on build so you have different options here i'm going to do, go to the console output so that i can see the logs okay so if you notice here the build has already got triggered the code has got checked out and the maven command has already run so let's check for the goal which we did so if you notice here uh, the maven command is running clean and deploy for that particular pom.xml 
right and if you notice here the test which we wrote also has run the fist bus test and the build is successful so once the build got successful we did a deploy right so the maven deploy plugin has automatically got triggered and it is automatically uploading my jars into the maven repo and uh, the build is successful if i go out i can see the build is successful if you see here build is successful okay now here i should get my new project let's refresh it yeah i can see this so i can see the jenkins example i can see my snapshot version here so i have the jar here if i rerun this build it should again upload it but the only thing is the jar will have a different uh, time stamp now if you notice here i am i am stamping the time stamp in the jar okay so if i rerun it again the this particular um, jar will be get, uh, will get built again and it will be pushed to this to this particular repo but with a different time so i have just triggered the build so if i go to the log my tests are already completed okay the jars are getting uploaded the upload should be successful by now yeah if i not if you notice here it has already appended hyphen 2 and also the timestamp is different right so that is what uh, that is how it works so let's uh, for simplicity uh, for checking how whether uh, our chains are picked up or not uh, let's fail some test case right i'll just comment one piece of uh, code okay to check if this particular test case is uh, getting kicked out or not if the build is still passing okay i'm just going to commit and push this okay so this should push uh, the change which i did here okay the push is successful let's go ahead and trigger the build now so this should uh, pull all the latest changes whatever we did and the, the build should fail because the test case uh, where we have uh, written test case for each and every scenario and that first test, first test case should fail now that's what we are going to see here okay if you notice here the uh, clean deploy command has got triggered So basically this is running the uh, uh, running the command which we are going to run in the command prompt here if you notice here we we would have done a clean install right instead i just did a deploy because i want to push my jars onto a repository uh, it's it's basically running the same thing so i am just giving the maven uh, goal there but the only thing is the build is going to run on a different server and that will be automatically triggered and controlled by jenkins if you notice here the test case has failed but i have uh, since i have uh, mentioned i haven't mentioned that the build should fail if the test case has failed the build got succeeded if you notice here the test case has failed here it is saying that uh, expected 3 but was fizz right it came as 3 but should be uh, fizz right so that is what um, is happening so this is how uh, we configure the jenkins job uh, onto a maven project okay if you notice here the test is also showing and the test shows as unstable right this is if you show if you see this is a success and this is unstable okay so this is how uh, we configure a maven project inside the jenkins build and most of the time what happens you won't have admin privileges on to the jenkins build and that is why you won't be seeing this configure option uh, you might see the read only configuration but that's okay still uh, this is how in general you can configure jenkins so if you want to try out jenkins right you can just download that onto your local laptop and try it out and you can configure any github project uh, to pull that change because github is uh, free anyway uh, free and open source so same way jenkins is also open source so you can um, uh, do that also jenkins has the capability to do master slave concept so if you have uh, 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 lots of builds running in your project and you want to use uh, jenkins extensively you can use the master slave concept where you can configure uh, slave nodes so if i go to the manage jenkins option so there is an option to configure the nodes so there is a manage nodes option so if you notice here there is only one master right now but i can add a new node and i can add it uh, i can add a slave so that uh, the jobs can be half the jobs can be running in the master half the jobs can be running in the slave and you can allocate the space uh, uh, you can allocate equal space in both the um, servers so that that is how you can configure jenkins and jenkins just master slave out of the box so it can uh, it can just control master can control the slaves okay so that's it for this particular video. So hope you understood. Uh, 
uh, what Jenkins is and how we can configure Jenkins to run a Maven project. Uh, so if you have any doubts, queries or something, you can just uh, post it in the comments below. I will, I will reply whenever I see it. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe it. Uh, meet you again in the next video. Thank you.